Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, first thing in the morning, I was faced with a decision. Should I go with an unhealthy Kit Kat or put an apple in my backpack? Would you look at that? There's even a rhyme in that. Well, I decided to get the kid uh, the apple. Uh, why do I need an apple in my backpack with a sandwich, ladies and gentlemen? It's because then, uh, in a little bit, I gotta get out of here and go catch a train to a city, which is, uh, first off, the city is literally, like, from here to Austin, like, from San Antonio to Austin. It's like hour and a half, two hour stops if you stop for a break. Uh, no, what am I talking about? It's not even an hour to Austin, is it? I remember. Uh, it's close. It's cl the whole country is close. I mean, it's gonna take me five hours to go across it. But, um, the train <laughs> takes four, three and a half hours to get there. Three and a half hours. The fast one. <laughs> the other one takes six. It's ridiculous. I mean, why? How? Blah. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria. <laughs> Better catch a bike or something. I don't quite know where my head is, but uh, I think it's snowing. Or at least it will be after uh, later today. It smells like popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, like a lot of popcorn. It smells like a like a like a movie theater. <laughs> All right, I gotta go get the train. It's casual. Huh. Would well, you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? We're doing some construction of the. That is a train station, the central train station. We're in here. Uh, by the way, that's a, that's a humongous building, very impressive building, but so old, so old. It does need reconstruction. It was taken over by pigeons. Like seriously, you walk into the train station and there are just. Uh, humongous groups of pigeons everywhere. Also, the, the, the running part is that we have these boxes that are very, they're supposed to be uh, anti-pigeon sounds. They love dropping on them. Just love. But I have no idea what they're gonna do. Man, I indeed arrived. Look at that. That's the trend. Uh, the, the, the where did my English go? <laughs> the train station in Plovdiv, and that is my sandwich. Very 15 years Bulgarian. Uh, 115 years Bulgarian train stations. I gotta eat some bad ones. Three hours. Are you serious? Oh god. All right, I gotta call the guy to see where the hell he is. I don't, I don't even know what's happening. Look at that, it's a cat. But ladies and gentlemen, my sense of orientation is just magnificent. Every time when I'm in a new setting, I just know how to get my way around. I mean, I ask people how to get places, but just from them pointing towards where I gotta go and telling me what to do, I understand how to get to places. I just see the destination where I was supposed to go. And the guy suggested to go ask somebody else. Yeah, right. Another very general place. It's just too much in it. It's so many things. I mean, wait, I found the tower of the, the radio and TV tower and that building carved into the stone of the boulder. It's just interesting. Also, there is a humongous Roman ancient amphitheater that is in Plovdiv. By the way, I have a video made of all for Plovdiv. It was, um, I don't even remember how I called it, but uh, it was a, a video that I made years ago. <laughs> the Roman ancient amphitheater! Stone and all! Alright, I gotta find how to get through the tunnel without walking through the tunnel. <laughs> 
Well, that's the tunnel I'm talking about, and that's the building I was talking about. There's another building on the border. And by the way, that right above the, the tunnel is the ancient theater that I was telling you about. It's right over there. Well, we're going through that tunnel. Apparently, there is a sidewalk through it. Go figure. They didn't expect that. You don't even know what an amazing meeting I just had. I mean, the person that I met, amazing person, great person. They, they burned, there were uh, a whole group of people that do that, that, those kind of music, you know, that jazz. And we got talking, and it was just amazing. I, uh, I told him that I'm looking for, uh, for a typewriter. Guess what? I found a typewriter. <laughs> I told him that I have an idea for, first of all, he loved the idea that I have for the video with a, with a dancing troupe and the Bulgarian songs in a little bit more of a, of a, of a modern way. And uh, afterwards I told him that I have an idea to record um, uh, a movie for a writer and the writer starts writing on a typewriter at the end. I told him that I cannot find a typewriter anywhere. He goes, you want one? Go oh, yes! I'll return it when I'm done. He gave me a portable typewriter, which is amazing, seriously. All right, so now we have the, the composer for the piece, we have the troupe. Now we're gonna see how we're gonna do the decor. And uh, the choreography is gonna be on uh, on Sunday, probably. But I gotta go catch the train. Supposedly, I have a train in about 20 minutes. Good night.